ringside here, my buddy Pat Cash. We are psyched and pumped up for a great day of tennis. Absolutely, let's go for it. We're at the French Open, the center court, Philip Chatria. Let's get down to the action. I go to the While I expect an awesome match today, let's go. He thumped that shot for a clean winner. Sure, it's good to handcuff your opponent and maybe not allow him to extend himself off the ground in the ground strokes, but basically when you get out on a court, this is a matter, a test of wills and a test of fitness, and you want to see how well your opponent hits on the run and what type of level of fitness he's got. Game point now. Well, he really didn't give his opponent any chance. And, uh, well, I don't know what he could have done there anyway. That was just a fantastic all-round game. Well, the clay court, of course, is a completely different service altogether. A lot of special, uh, almost specialty players are on the clay court. If you're in a boxing match, you know, there's a guy comes out who's looking to knock you out. Well, he's the puncher. There's another guy who's the clay court player that says content to wait for you to make the first move and believes that he's quick enough, strong enough, or has good enough passing shots to deal with whatever you do and do something better. That's the counter puncher. Well, players down love 30, Pat. What do you do now? You try to just go for even more, take something off it, stay back? Do you switch gears that fast? Well, you think uh, the first couple of points have been a bit rusty, so I think he's got to be hoping that, uh, you know, gets a bit of rhythm here. Maybe not go for something too crazy. Just try and get a good solid point and hope the opponent misses. It might have been exactly on the line, but it was hit so hard, nothing he could do about that at the net. It's a great effort, isn't it, to get the first break there, and that's it. Well, he's got it all lined up, John. He's serving for the match. Can he pull it out? Oh, it's all about nerves now. You dream about this position, to get to a point where you're serving for the match. But that's often the toughest game to win. That elbow starts hurting a little bit. The legs start getting a little weary and heavy. And it's awful tough to get those first serves in. How did he get that angle on that winner? All right, Mac. What's the pros and cons of attacking the net? I know you love this stuff. Oh, I love this. Obviously, you too. But you need to get into net and position yourself well. Arthur Ashe used to tell me, cover the line. Cut off that angle. So if the guy goes cross court, you can just stick your racket out. Sometimes you need to hit the approach softer to give you more time to give yourself that position. Sometimes you need to try to rip the winner to end the point. Here again, match point. I mean, this is where you can say to yourself, I no! stood tall. Here we are, match point number two. And that's it, it's been a good match, and uh, in the end, it's all over. I tell you, there's an incredible sense of relief when you finally get that match under your...